welcome to the Wildlings 20th anniversary virtual fundraiser. We hope you're home relaxing, have a nice drink of something, and that you're important, most importantly safe and healthy as your friends and family are as well. Um, wow, what a year it's been and uh, continues to be. But let's just tonight, let's just focus for the next hour, hour and a half on art and nature. Raise a little money for the museum so we can have a great winter and continue to bring really quality programs for you in our community. So a little background, 20 years ago we were founded and we opened our doors in Los Olivos in the historic Keenan Hartley House. Some of you probably remember that cute little house. And it was just a small group of dedicated board members who got really inspired by Patty Jacquemain's vision of using art to connect people to nature and getting them to care enough to protect that nature. It was a modest beginning. There was no grand collection that we started with. There was no huge endowment that we were founded with. There were really not even donors to speak of. We opened our doors with uh, great hope and great dreams. And before too long, in a few years, we did grow a little bit and we moved um, to the other side of Los Olivos into the house next to Corner House Coffee. I'm sure many of you uh, know that. That's where I got my start in 2010. And it definitely had a bigger and better gallery space and we were able to do more because we were in that space. But meanwhile, the Los Olivos community was shifting a little bit and evolving like all communities do, right? So we decided that we wanted to be um, maybe not so much wine and a little bit more family friendly. And we ended up finding this amazing facility here in Solving. And that was a big leap, but we had the board leadership to make it happen. So at that time, Pete Adams was our board chair and Kathy Kelp was our ABLE president. And they helped lead the effort to make sure that we could raise the money to be here. And we did, it was something like, half a million dollars that we had to raise. And then we had an incredible contractor, Jim Balsitas, who's on our board currently, who helped donate a lot of his personal time in leading this effort. It was an amazing, amazing time. And I hope most of you, if not all of you, have been able to experience our new facility here, which really isn't new anymore. This is our seventh summer, believe it or not. Um, the other thing we loved about being here is now we have three to five exhibitions at any one time. It's not one show that changes three or four times a year. We have all these different things happening all at the same time. And we have a dedicated classroom. We have art workshops. We have meetings. We have all kinds of things happening in that space all the time. Um, then an opportunity came to buy the building. The, the owner of the building was interested in selling and working with us on it, and since it included tenants such as Lemos um, uh, over to this side of us from where I am standing, um, that was another big leap. And again, thanks to amazing leadership of our special donors and our board, we took that leap. And many, many of you contributed to that campaign, and we were able to purchase the building. And thanks to the Adams Legacy Foundation, a 10-year mortgage in order to do that. Um, and so we're about year three and a half into that mortgage and uh, that loan. And uh, before too long, hopefully, it'll be paid off and we'll own the building completely outright. How amazing is that? And we're so grateful to all these different people, all these generations of board members and leaders who got us here. Now, this year, as with all nonprofits and museums, um, it's been tough. We've been closed for seven months ourselves here, and of course, we've lost thousands of dollars. Um, admissions, retail sales, and canceled events. Well, tonight is hopefully both an opportunity to celebrate our legacy of 20 years, but also a chance to maybe make up some of that loss. Um, we really wanna power through this winter, all staff here doing as much as we can to present virtual programming and events and exhibitions like the one we're standing in right now. Um, so I wanna mention right now, we are so grateful to our event sponsors. We have uh, Northern Trust and Andy Chow, thank you so much. Um, a lot of these sponsors came from our barbecue that we had to cancel and they were so generous about letting us save those funds and apply them to a fall event, which is what we're doing right now. Thank you, Jack and Judy Stapleman, also for being so generous and letting us do that. Um, several of you, especially our board members, bought tables for the barbecue. Well, no tables, but thank you for um, supporting our event tonight. 
And most especially, we're thanking Kate Godfrey, who is a current board member, and who has pledged an incredible $15,000, $15,000 that she will match all of your donations up to that amount. So let's make sure she gets to donate all $15,000, and uh, I hope you can help make that happen tonight. And now it's time to hear from our wonderful current board president, Kevin Patterson. Greetings, and welcome to the Wildly Museum's 20th anniversary virtual fundraiser. I'm Kevin Patterson, president of the board of directors, and I want to thank you for joining us tonight from the safety and comfort of your homes. We're going to have some fun thanks to our MC and auctioneer, Jim Nye. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the Wildling Museum of Art and Nature, opening our doors to the public. At the beginning of the year, we had many plans for celebrating this milestone, and then boom, coronavirus. It is said that every cloud has a silver lining. This pandemic has made us realize there are new ways we have of reaching and serving our public and conducting our day-to-day -day business. The virtual tools we have now afford us opportunities to reach out and influence people and expand our geography. Tonight is how we're going to take advantage of these possibilities to uh, expand our reach, mount new and e exciting uh, exhibitions and provide enriching and entertaining programming. Money. I hope you all have had a chance to browse the many great items that were available during our silent auction, which is closing soon or has closed. Congratulations to you successful bidders. In a few moments, Jim will uh, guide us through a our live auction and then a virtual paddle raise. During these activities, I encourage you to think about how the wildling has, over the last 20 years, touched hearts and minds, lifted spirits, and instilled a sense of the value of wild places. Everything you give tonight will enable us to expand our reach and continue to broaden our work in these areas. Also, we have a $15,000 challenge on tonight. Kate and Dick Godfrey will match it during the paddle raise, the first 15,000 raised. So your, your donation is effectively doubled. Thank you, Kate and Dick. I also want to thank our other sponsors, Jack and Judy Stapleman and Northern Trust. Thanks, Andy. I should also note that my wife, Terry, and I are offering a four-night stay in our guest house here in the beautiful San Inez Valley. So plan to bid that one up. Now sit back, enjoy the refreshment of your choice, and help support the Wildling Museum of Art and Nature. You're on. Thank you, Kevin, for those encouraging words and your leadership of our board and museum. Um, before I introduce our main MC and auctioneer for the evening, I want to give a shout out to our friend, Jimmy Farnham. Some of you may know, maybe many of you, that Jimmy was going to be our um, volunteer auctioneer for tonight. And then about three or four weeks ago, he had to call me because he had an illness and he was afraid he would not be able to make it tonight. And so we just want to let Jimmy know, maybe he's watching tonight, we hope so, but if not, um, that we're sending you all of our love and our well wishes and um, hoping that you are well on your road to recovery and we miss you and we'll catch you next time, Jimmy. So thank you. And with that, I'm excited to introduce um, our auctioneer and MC tonight, and that is Jim Nye. And he's, uh, you're going to be in such great hands, and it's going to be so much fun. So thank you, Jim. Thank you, Stacy. Let's hear it for Stacy. Virtual clap at home here in the studio.
We have 70,000 people here in the studio. There's like three of us, don't worry. And we're socially distanced and we're just here to help the wilding. So yeah, virtual clap at home because this incredible team has been working so hard. They've been prepping and working and rehearsing to somehow pull off a virtual gala and they have pulled it off. So big virtual clap at home, go for it. Uh, they have been supporting the wildling here and we're gonna ask you to support the wildling at home tonight. One of the ways you can do that is in our silent auction but that will be closing down very soon. So make sure you get your final bids in for our silent auction as soon as you can. We do recommend that if you're watching us live tonight, which obviously you are, you're on one of these wonderful browsers you can pick from, Firefox, Google Chrome, or Safari are your better choices. We're not having too much luck with Internet Explorer. So anybody lets you know we can't get on, maybe they're on Internet Explorer, tell them to try something else. We have a chat window tonight. Most of you, I've seen many of you already find it here. There's a lot of great chat going on. If you haven't already, look down below me. That's where our chat window is. We want to hear from you. We want to hear where are you watching us from? How long have you been a supporter of the Wildling? What's your favorite memory of the Wildling? Go ahead, if you haven't hit anything in the chat window yet, Go ahead, at least let us know how many years you've been supporting the Wildling. And if you are brand new, somebody just asked you to watch tonight, just type in, I'm a newbie. Go for it. We want to hear from you. Uh, we got Julie, we got Karen, many people looking at the chat window, and they would love to hear what you're thinking tonight. All right, let's see where we're starting off at. I think that's a good start so far. So for right now, let's hear from the founder of the Wildling, ladies and gentlemen. Patty, take it away. Good evening. Thank you all for joining us this evening for the 20th anniversary virtual fundraiser event for the Wilding Museum of Art and Nature. We never could have imagined 20 years ago when we started the museum in the small farmhouse, the Keenan Hartley House, a few miles from where it is today in Solvang, that this would be the way we're doing our 20th anniversary. But we have had a good rewarding time putting the museum together. Um, we've had many hours of work and fun both. And we've had two exceptional uh, executive directors over the years, uh, many dedicated board members, and uh, hardworking volunteers. And they all have had the same goal. We all have the same goal of putting the best exhibits that we can of art and nature. We're certainly not done with our work yet. And we need your support more than ever. Tonight, if you can dig into your pockets and bid on some of our wonderful auction items, plus give to the challenge grant, it would be most appreciated. We hope you enjoy the little program we have put together for you tonight. And here's to the next 20. Thank you, Patty. Ladies and gentlemen, our silent auction is now closed. I hope many of you have won uh, a lot of wonderful, cool things. There's still the chance, though, to support us through our live auction, which is coming up in just a couple moments, and just the ability to give directly. And if you look to, I think, to where you're watching me, it's on the right. There's a nice big green donate button. I've got my laptop right here. I might look at it a couple times throughout the night. That's why I'm looking down. There's a green donate button there. You can start giving right now to support the Wildling, and we would love you to do so. All right, so in a little bit, we've got some door prizes coming up. You do need to be watching to win our door prizes. We've got three of them. We'll do them one by one here throughout the evening, but you've got to be watching. And if we do call your name, make sure you go into the chat window and let us know you are watching and you've won one of the door prizes. Uh, we've got a great local wine basket. We've got a Montecito Bank and Trust basket, which is like a, a picnic in a basket. It has chocolate in it, so you know that's good too. And we've got an iPad coming up at the end of the night. It's a brand new iPad, but you have to be watching to win. So that's what's coming up. Right now, let's hear from two more Wilding fans. Hello, this is Congressman Salud Carvajal. There's a lot to be proud of in our Central Coast District, from stunning majestic views to an active and accomplished arts community, especially in San Inez Valley, of which I am honored to serve and represent. But what makes our slice of paradise so special is amazing people and supporters of museums like yourselves. I am honored to congratulate the Wilding Museum on 20 years of educating and encouraging new audiences to care about the preservation of our natural resources. Its mission to inspire our community as well as visitors to conserve wildlife and natural areas through art, make it unique and special. 
One of the things I find most special is that our talented local artists have a venue to display their works, some of which are legends like Ray Strong, who contributed so many museum natural backgrounds. These area artists serve a role to energize and inspire the next generation of artists and the importance to continue the important work of preservation. Congratulations to the Wilding Museum for 20 years of ex exceptional promotion of art and the value of conservation. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Joan Hartman, the third district supervisor for Santa Barbara County. And one of my proudest achievements is I did serve on the board of the Wildly Museum. I remember back, I wasn't there when it was a gleam in Patty Jack Main's eye that we would have a Western Museum of Art in the Santa Ynez Valley. But I was there, uh, I did visit when it was at the Keenan Hartley building and I remember a great starry night exhibit. I was there when it went across the street in Los Olivos and finally I joined the board when it had the big move to its current home in Solvang. Saw the resources room, the kids gallery, the upstairs gallery, the mural and all the wonderful exhibits downstairs. It is a treasure in our community where art and nature meet. That upstairs gallery where we've had all kinds of poets and music, we understand nature not just scientifically, but how we feel and art helps us to see it differently in a whole new light and appreciate it in whole new dimensions. And that's what the Wildling does. It brings uh, the whole community, the greater Santa Barbara region together in the beautiful San Inez Valley to appreciate the wonderful place that we live. I just wanna thank all the board members over the years, these 20 years, all the staff and volunteers and people who come and enjoy the museum. And here we go for another 20. Thank you for letting me participate. Good night. You're on. Thank you to Salute and Joan. That was fantastic. And speaking of fantastic, it's time to give away our first door prize. And you can see we got the prize right here, everybody. Uh, we've got some wine, some movies. We've got a rechargeable wine opener. We got a DVD of a Wilding film on the Carrizo plane. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a little drum roll at home as we already have picked a name from everybody who's watching. And the winner is Jessica Tade. Jessica, you're our first winner, local muse uh, museum director, right? Yes. Wow, yeah. Jessica, thank you for uh, tuning in. You are a winner. Type in the chat window, you're there, and you've won, and we'll figure out how to get it to you unless we drink this first, I don't know. All right, let's hear it for our Vanna Whites, everybody. That's our first, uh, let's see, uh, first opportunity drawing, and we'll have two more coming up here in just a moment. For right now, let's hear from three more special Wildling supporters. Shows that we might not have seen in museums that were much larger in size. 
So we would like to celebrate with the Wilding for their 20th anniversary and look forward to 20 more years with them and are excited for all of us to be able to go visit them more frequently. Speaking of support, check out the chat window. We have people watching from all the way over in Scotland, everybody. I heard I heard somebody say, I thought, I thought Scottsdale. I thought Scottsdale's far away. That's cool. But then I said, no, it's Scotland. So all kinds of wonderful supporters. Thank you for watching. Thank you for typing in the chat window. Uh, and if you look above the chat window and above where you're watching me right now, you're going to see a thermometer. And that thermometer tells us a little bit about the giving tonight. And we have a soft goal here of $25,000. Look at where we are. We're getting close to $10,000 of generosity already. What do you think, everybody? That's pretty cool. So at this time, go ahead and use that green donate button off to the right, and you can start giving at any time. And by the way, if you do win a silent or live auction item tonight, if it's a physical item, we encourage you to pick that up here at the museum, if at all possible. We can coordinate that with the staff at a later time. Shipping is possible. You'll have to pay for the cost yourself, and we can coordinate that later. We are so grateful to all of our silent auction and live auction donors. Thank you for giving so that the people watching tonight can give more than they think they should while feeling great about it to support the museum. Okay, so with all the house rules out of the way, deep breath, everybody. Okay, we have a question for you at this time. And the question, we want you to respond and yell as loudly as you can and make your neighbors wonder what the heck is going on. The question is this, would it be okay with you if at this time, we kick things up notch, have a little bit of fun and raise some serious generosity for the Wildling Museum, what do you say? Woo! Love it. Our three studio audience members are going crazy. I actually have friends. I imagine there are several reasons you may be watching tonight. You might be here to win one of our silent auction items or one of our door prizes. Maybe you turned in tonight just to figure out what the heck a virtual fundraiser really is or what it looks like. If that's the case, welcome aboard. But I imagine most of you came here tonight beyond winning prizes and door prizes and whatever. I imagine you are here hopefully simply and solely to benefit and support the Wildling Museum in this, our biggest fundraiser of the year. So if you're here for that, welcome aboard. However, I should ask one more question. How many of you were simply trying to search for funny cat videos on YouTube and you somehow ended up here? I see a lot of you nodding your home at home. Well, whatever it is, meow, hello, welcome. We are gonna have a very short live auction to benefit the wildling in the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna start talking fast like an auctioneer would and I'm gonna ask you to do one of two things in the next couple of minutes. Number one, you can bid or give. That's item number one, you can bid or give. You can look off to the right-hand side of the screen in just a moment, you'll see our live auction bidding buttons. There'll be a green button that says bid or a black button that says- They're, they're already bidding. They're already bidding. Already I, I'm behind on my thing here, so. <laughs> 
We can bid or give, or if you're not bidding or giving at any time, you can encourage those people that are by going into that chat window and ask and thanking people and telling them to bid more and tell them they need that vacation. Use that chat window to thank people who are giving. And if you do one of those two things in the next couple of minutes, we're going to do great things. All right, item number one, everybody, here we go. I talk a lot, I'm sorry. Cambria Getaway. This is our first live auction item. This is our Cambria Getaway. You can bid right now if you want. Don't wait for me to describe it. Go ahead. We're already up to $700. We're already up to $700, it says. So go ahead, start bidding everybody. Everybody, you can take a break and run up the coast to beautiful Cambria for a one-night stay on Moonstone Beach. Everybody say ooh. Ooh. Uh, we're at the Cozy Podcatcher Inn. Have a relaxing time. Plus, you're going to go out to dinner. Everyone's favorite, Lynn's Restaurant. Plus, wine tasting for two at Harmony Cellar. So we want to give a big round of applause virtually at home if you can for our live auction donors, including these. Give it up for Fogcatcher in Lynn's Restaurant and Harmony Cellars for supporting the Wild Link. So it's a nice drive up the coast. It's about 100 miles from where I'm standing right now. Mutually agreed upon dates, so plenty of time to figure out when you're going and when to take a socially distanced getaway. And we'll say, you know, what is this whole thing worth? 300 $400, $600, the true value of this is whatever you give to support the wildling. Patty's at 700 Patty's already jumping in. She's oh, bidding. $750. Oh, I'm going to refresh. Excuse me while I hit refresh because I'm getting excited and I can't see the bidding right now. Uh, so did you know the staff creates a free activity guide for children for each main exhibition here at the museum? And $500 pays for the research, writing, design, and printing of one of those guides. So if we were to raise $1,000 for this item, we can handle the cost of two entire activity guides for children. Just throwing it out there as one reason you might want to bid in our live auction. 800 from Rick, Rick we've got, I'm going to look down here. It looks like we've got $800. I think it is. Richard's in at $800. We're looking for $850. Hit the green bid button on the right-hand side. But if you'd like to give more, like $1,000, just hit the black give more, bid more button. When you click the black bid more button, as I try and talk too fast, you can give any amount you want. And I think a million has seven zeros, six zeros, <laughs> something like that. So we are going to close this very soon. You've got to get your bids in right now. It's not like a normal auction where you're racing your bid cards and kind of waiting to see the timing with the auctioneer. You've got to get your high bids in right now, or else Richard's going to Cambria, and he's not taking you with him. I've asked him. He's not. Here we go. Eight, what's it at now? 850. 850 we're at. I'd like to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm 900. Behind. Richard really wants I need to buy a better laptop. He's at 900 now. Richard's at 900. We're looking for 950. You're able to give 950 for the wild thing, everybody. You're going to Cambria. We've got Lynn's Restaurant. We've got Harmony Cellars. I think, I don't know what's happening anymore. We've lost control. But it's okay because we're close to $1,000 of generosity. We've got to close it down there. Please put in your final bids right now. We're going to close it down any moment. 950, Sam Collins. Sam is in at 950. He doesn't want Richard to go on a vacation. <laughs> what's happening? Sam, have you met Richard? He's a nice guy. Richard, you got a bid again if you want to get Sam Richard's out of there. Richard's at $1,000. Everybody, there's $1,000 for the wild so far. So good. Well, I'm going to keep letting it go because they're still bidding. But you got to get your high bids in right now. Maybe type in like 1500 or something into the bid more button, and it just might take everybody else out. I don't know. We're looking for our final bids. Last call. Is it going to be Sam? Is it going to be Richard? Is it going to be somebody else jumping in at the final mid moment and stealing their hopes and dreams? Here we go. Last call. Final warning. Let's find out who our winner is. It's Richard. Yeah. Richard. You took it. Woo. Richard, you fought a good fight, my friend. Way to hang in there, Sam, and everybody else. Thank you for bidding $1,050. A great way to start off for our live auction. We're going to go quickly on a live auction item number two. And for this one, I've got a Vanna White, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up, everybody, for Julie Mark. This is our handmade quilted fox wall hanging. Julie, who made this? I made it. Julie made it, everybody. Julie is our visitor services and store manager. Our very own Julie has quilted this charming Rufus and Friends wall hanging just for our auction, simply so you guys can go crazy for it and we can support the wildling. Since the fox is the wildling museum mascot, she incorporated colorful fox faces throughout, even a few with glasses, everybody. Pretty cool and stuff. The kicking off. And the bidding's are already taken out. You can bid right now. Don't wait for me. I think some of my glasses, some of them contact lessons, we don't know. This is a very, very special piece. Five hundred dollars from Gail. Keep out. Keep bidding, everybody. It's hundred percent unique. It measures forty-four by thirty-three. And let's just talk about why giving might help here. Did you know the Wildling will be doubling down on virtual content moving forward to make sure the museum is even more accessible to more people 24-7? Our newest endeavor is to work with the local photographer 
photographer who's capturing 3D virtual gallery tours. Julie, I'm actually making a point here, believe it or not, I take a long time to do this. The museum needs its own hosting account, everybody, that costs will approach $1,000 a year. Wouldn't it be great if we can surpass that with just this item and help the museum out? $5.50 for Marty. I'm sorry, how much? $5.50. $5.50 is bid, ladies and gentlemen, and we're looking for $600 or more. You can hit that green bid button. You can hit the black bid button and put in a higher amount you would like to give. This is our one and only Julie Mock original. There's nothing else like it on the planet. You can, of course, hang it up. You can use it. You can donate it to- 600 from Gail. 600 from Gail is in. You can donate it to a local children's charity, to a children's hospital. Man, there's so many wonderful things you can do with this. In uh, fact, heck, we can have a whole bunch of wonderful children sign the back when they come in. We can hang it up here. I don't know. All kinds of things we can do to raise support <laughs> for the wildling. Get your bids in right now, everybody. We're going to close it down very, very soon. I'm going to hit refresh on my laptop here and hope for the best. Mm. Julie's arms are getting tired, but that's okay. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's so cute. And then that class is on for crying out loud. Yeah. Last call, everybody. Final warning to get your bids in on our quilt. It looks like we need a bit of $650 or else it's going. It is going. Let's see who our winner is. Yeah. It's Gail, everybody. Yay. Gail, thank you so much for your generosity. Give it up for Julie one more time. Oh, virtual clap for Yay. Julie, everybody. All right, here we go. Just a couple more items, and then we're getting to our big moment, our big raise the paddle, which will be our big moment here of the night. But right now, let's take a couple of really cool trips. This is our third item in our live auction, everybody, and this is our four-night Santa Inez Valley getaway. This is for four to six people, or just go by yourself. I don't know. Enjoy and unwind at a lovely, quiet, private guest house. This is owned by our board president, everybody. Give it up for Kevin Patterson and his wife, Terry, for this wonderful donation. This is in Ballard, the heart of the San Inez Valley. Absolutely gorgeous, very relaxing. You will wake up to the birds chirping, to the lovely vistas of the valley's rolling hills and distant mountains. You can see yourself there now, just relaxing, getting out of your own home. That is allowed. I've tried it. It's really cool. You and your group will have a private tour of the wildling as well with our executive director extraordinaire, Stacy. everybody. A very, very exclusive tour. And you will do a bus tour of local vineyards with sustainable wine tours. Sustainable wine tours is awesome. They will take care of you, your group, and you are going to local vineyards. This is a trip you will never remember. <laughs> We've already you, got a bidding war. We've got a bidding war going, everybody. Holly and David. Holly and David are going at it. I'm going to refresh. My connection was interrupted. That happens to me a lot. I have teenagers. Uh, you also have two local boutique wines to enjoy on your patio during sunset. So I have a lot of things to talk about here, and I don't have enough time. So just know this is an amazing getaway. I've skipped over some of it. You've got mutually agreed upon dates over the next year. Plenty of time to figure out when you are going. Four nights. Four nights for four to six people private tours, bus, to local vineyards, all kinds of wine, a value approaching $2,000. Please give a round of applause to the Pattersons and Sustainable Wine Woo! Tours for this wonderful, wonderful getaway. I'm still trying to get back in and see if I can see who's bidding. Because I kind of want to bid myself. Where are we at? We're at 1000 from Holly. We have $1,000 right now from Holly, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to outbid or hit that green button, we don't have many live auction items, and this is one of the best ones. You've got a whole year to figure out who you're inviting. How many of you have a birthday or anniversary coming up in the next 12 months? Most of you, right? <laughs> what a perfect way. You can support the museum and enjoy this at the same time. We're looking for a bid of $1,200, I think. Here we go. Are we get it? $1,200 is what we're looking for at the moment, I believe. Well, here we go. You got a bid right now. Keep your, keep your, keep your uh, love the wild and going by hitting those green buttons as I try to make up things to say, well, I stall because I want you to get in. Who are you asking for permission? Just do it. Hit the green button. $1,200 skip, from Sam. Skip a payment, everybody. Yay, it's okay. Sam. We have $1,200 from Sam, ladies and gentlemen. $1,200 is bid. You can hit that black other button. You can hit that right now and type in any amount you want and take everybody else out. We love to see you. Just bid as much as you want. We have a $1,200 bid from Sam. We're looking for, I think, $1,300 or is it $1,400? I think it's $1,400. $1,200 is bid. Looking for $1,400 to go. It's a fantastic opportunity right now and you get to bring people with them. You can charge each one of your friends $500. You're making money on the deal. $1,000 <laughs> is bid. We're looking for $1,200. Is it $1,400. Is it Holly? Holly, thank you. We're $1,400. Holly's at $1,400. We're looking for $1,600. To go, would you get 16 here to go get them out of bed? 1600 is do the auctioneer thing. We're looking for 1600, everybody. 1400 is bid, 1600 to go. And I tell you what, the Pattersons won't be there. 
<laughs> I mean, you can just stay there for like a year. We won't even tell them. I'm kidding, Kevin. 14 is bid. We're looking for 16. Would you give one more time? Got to close it down. 1400 is bid. Last call. Final warning. We're going to close it in just a moment. Get your final bid in. Are we all done? Sam was Holly, bidding and Holly's Holly bidding. Done. Holly's in again. Holly's Last... won. Holly's won. Holly's won, everybody. <laughs> we jumped and got. We were so excited. <laughs> Holly has won. Give it up for Holly, everybody. Way to go. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you to Terry for this wonderful donation as we move quickly along. Oh my goodness, it is time for our sculpture. This is our rocking dolphin bronze sculpture. Come on up, let's see it, absolutely, why not? Artist and environmental advocate James Bud Bottoms, who we absolutely love. Thank you, thank you, Carol Ann, for making this happen. Uh, he has left an amazing legacy of art and activism here in the Santa Barbara County region. This eight-inch bronze is a replica of a child-friendly bench that's installed in Santa Barbara and is meant to have a slight rock wherever it is placed to grace your home. So we're going to show you a video about uh, Bud right now. Let's yeah. check it out. Here, ladies and gentlemen, is a little bit more about the amazing work of Bud Bottoms. So here is your chance to own this wonderful piece of Santa Barbara history and nature created by a beloved artist and activist who always stood up for nature and for wildlife. And we'd like to say thank you, sincere thank you to Carol Ann Bottoms for allowing us to offer this piece to support and benefit the wilding, which is what we hope you are going to do with it right now by hitting those wonderful green buttons on the side that says bid. I believe we are looking at several bids here already. John has been placed in a bid. Jim has jumped in. We're looking for a bid, I think, of $800 yeah, right, right now. So we're looking at $800 to go. You're able to give $800, $700 is bid. John, Jim, you got to come back in. John is not sharing this with you, I promise you. 
come back in, place another bid, everybody. If you need more info, there's that blue more info button. It's kind of small. If you want more information on any of our live auction items, right in the middle of the live auction piece you see up there in the top right, there's a more info button. You can click, give you a little bit more info. Otherwise, just hit that green button that says bid. That means give in this world. That means give it. You are directly supporting the wild thing with your bids tonight in our live auction. And if you're not bidding, please encourage those people that are by clapping and cheering at home and giving in the chat window lots of support. Or are we, Mary, welcome aboard. No, we're back. She just didn't pledge. Oh, Mary just pledged money. That's, yes, absolutely. Give any time. Thank you, Mary, for pledging $200. We love you. Jim is in at 700. We're looking for a last bid of 800 to go. One more bid might take it at 800. We are going to find out who the winner is in just a moment. Did you get your final bids in? Last call, final warning on our rocking dolphin bronze sculpture. And our winner is Jim. Jim has taken everybody with a gift of $700 for the Wildlands. Way to go, way to go. Nice. Enjoy it. Thank you so much, and thank you to the Bottoms family. All right, moving quickly along, everybody. This is a fantastically cool item. Bring it on in, Karen. This is Fox's and Sierra's mosaic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is done by our founder, Patty. Give it up for Patty once again. What a fantastic, fantastic piece we have here. Karen is helping us out. She's our Vanna White right now, our development assistant. She's handles all kinds of memberships and all the bunch of the monies and stuff and the thank you letters that go out. That's all thanks to Karen. So thank you for what you do, Karen. One of Patty's newest creations, this lovely uh, mosaic features a pair of foxes with a backdrop of the Eastern Sierras. It's unlike any other. Look how cool that looks. It looks snowy and cool, unlike our 100 degree <laughs> studio right now. We've already Measuring. got 500 from Gina. We've already got a $500 bid from Gina. Thank you. Go ahead and place your bids right now. We'll tell you a little bit more about it. Measuring 16 by 14 it weighs about six pounds and includes a sturdy d-ring hardware for hanging on and displaying in your home or your office or it may be mounted outside it is oh yeah is it heavy it, feels, it, looks a little bit heavy. it is comprised of a mixture of gorgeous tiles including glass small teeth she purchased while traveling in italy let's have a virtual clap one more time for a wonderful artist and donor patty jackman everybody so we have a bid of $700 from Lita. I think the Grant family is in. We're looking for an $800 bid. And did you know that the museum is offering more and more programs virtually via, via Zoom? These days, there's a new subscription that we need for the Zoom account, a webinar version that will help all the attendees with a much better uh, viewing uh, experience. That cost will be $1,400 for the museum. Back, back to 800 Something we just can't afford. So this kind of generosity for this wonderful piece could get us closer to paying for that subscription. Fantastic reason to give in our live auction, everybody. Carol. Carol Ann is, no, well, yes, Carol Ann is bidding too. Yeah. Carol Ann just donated that and now she's bidding. We love you. That's at 800. We're looking for a $900 bid to go. What'd you give? 900. Here to go get them on a bid of 900. The cool thing about this, and we have to work on this and get approval, but the cool thing is if you win this item, Karen will come to your house and just hold it up <laughs> for like years. You don't, there's just no food, and you don't have to give her nothing. It's just really cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a bid of $900. Gail is back. She wants to take out Carol, Carol, Gail, Carol. Oh, Gail, who's going to win? Get your bids in right now, everybody. Keep hitting that green button as fast as you can. Don't think about it. You do not have to think. It's an auction. Just think. It's, do, do, I mean, serious. Just give. And if you want to go higher, hit that black bid more button. You give any amount you want. Bonnie? She gave a pledge. Bonnie's just giving, too. Bonnie just gave a pledge of $300. That's fantastic. Gail's still in the lead with a $900 bid. We're looking for 1000 to go. 900 is bid. We need 1000 or you are not taking this home. Last call. Final warning, get your final bids in. What do you think? Should we say sold, Karen? One, two, three. Let's find out who our winner is. It is Gail. Gail. Thank you so much for what you do. Fantastic. We love you. Thank you to Patty for making that happen. Thank you to Gail for bidding and for everybody who's been bidding so far. We have our final live auction item, and this is my personal favorite of the night. This is our Santa Barbara getaway. Start bidding right now, because this one's going to be hot. I'll tell you a little bit about it. You just start bidding if you want. If you want to see any more, read any more, hit the more info button. That is uh, that little blue button in the middle. Our winning bidder of this last live auction item will enjoy a three-day, three-night stay in Santa Barbara's beautiful Mission Canyon, including a guided tour of Creek Spirit Garden filled with the artwork of museum founder Patty Jackman and her husband, Dave, as well. Hi, Dave. Thanks for watching, I guess. Plus a sit-down huckleberry pancake brunch. 
What? Take me with you. It's a legal thing. You have to bring the auctioneer. You and up to three guests will be staying in a two-bedroom, two-bath, private home, over 2,200 square feet. It's a really cool, like, unusual house. It's built among the large oak trees and sandstone boulders uh, that are found throughout that canyon. It's a large picture window, skylights everywhere. It just, uh, it's like... You're living outdoors, basically, or like you're living in a treehouse. It is such a cool item. I really want you to win this one. The house has its own koi pond. It's surrounded by a large garden of ferns. Does it sound good so far? I know, it's so cool. Coastal live oak trees, maples, redwoods. It's just downhill from the beautiful Santa Barbara Botanic Gardens. It's within walking distance to several hiking and bike trails in about five minutes to numerous historic and cultural attractions, Old Mission, Museum of Natural History, many more. But, you know, it's all cool, too, because the house has, like, ultra-high-speed Wi-Fi, high-def cable television, entertainment centers. There's a fully equipped kitchen, cozy living room. You're just going to want to live there forever. I don't know. But it's only three nights, so, you know, it'll feel like three weeks by the time you get through this wonderful place. Two outdoor patios, a private jacuzzi on the second floor, secluded master bedroom suite patio. Oh, my goodness. Your Santa Barbara getaway will take place on mutually agreed-upon dates. Plenty of time to figure out when you're going and make sure it's all good to go. And you can invite another couple with you to join you as overnight guests at the house. But wait, there's more. During your visit, you may invite up to four additional guests to join you for a tour of Jacqueline's Creek Spirit Mosaic Garden of Art. And that will be followed by the sit-down brunch at the Dome of the Great Bear, Huckleberry Pancakes, Associated Trimmings, and Mimosas. Did I ask you to invite me yet? Yeah, because I want you to. All of this wonderful package, value approaching $3,000, has been donated by Patty and Dave. Everybody give it up for Patty and Dave. Okay. So I'm going to refresh on my laptop here. It looks like we have at least a bid of, what, $1,000 already from Patty. Sam's in at $1,250. We're looking for a bid of $1,500. This is our last live auction item, everybody. One of our last chances to benefit the wildling, and it's a massively wonderful, cool package. It is the one you should bid on. I promise you, your friends who you take, you're going to be happy. You've got three days, three nights. What a great gift this would be to give to a loved one as well. We're looking for a bid of $1,500. There we go. $1,500 is bid. Thank you, Sam. And now the $1,750. Would you give $1,750 for the wildling? Of course you would, because it's a trip and you get to give. It's a wonderful thing. Your CPA will love you for giving. 15 is bid. 1750 to go. Three nights in this wonderful place in this just heavenly getaway. 15 is bid. Thank you, Sam. We're looking for 1750 If your name is not Sam, you are currently not winning. You're not going to go. Don't, you can't change your name either. It's too late. 1500 is bid. We're looking for 1750 You can hit the bid more button, that black button, and type in 2000 3000 5000 whatever you would like to do. Anything you can to outbid Sam. Sam wants to pay more. He does. Bid again. Sam, it's okay. We'll make you bid one more time. 1500 is bid. We're looking for 1750 to go. We're going to close it out. We're going to send Sam on this incredible getaway. He can bring up to three guests to stay with him for three nights and then bring four more for Huckleberry Pancakes. What? Last call, everybody. Gina! Gina's pledging. Oh, sorry. Gina's pledging. I got, and 17. Sam's bidding against himself. Sam's bidding against himself. Are you kidding? I love you, Sam. That's the spirit we need for the wildlife. Bid like crazy, everybody. Here we go. So what's that now? That's, we're looking for the bid of seven. The next one is 2000 The next one is 2000 I usually know this stuff, but I'm refreshing and my, my Wi-Fi is not working great, so I have to do that. We have a $1,750 bid. Sam, thank you. We're looking for 2000 to go. $1,750 looking for 2000 Are we all in? Are we all done? Last call, final warning on our Santa Barbara getaway, and our winner is Sam. <laughs> Stacy, you are up next. Sam, thank you so much for uh, winning that package. Thank you to everybody for bidding in our live auction. Thanks to Patty and Dave for all those wonderful, wonderful items. Take it away. Thank you so much, Jim, for your incredible enthusiasm. And thank, oh, I guess I can take this off for this part. <laughs> thank you guys so much for your incredible generosity. It's been so exciting and um, we're just hugely grateful. Um, our next video, I just wanted to briefly introduce, we're going to show off one of the most exciting projects that we've been able to do this year, and that's our first public art installation. Thanks to a grant from the City of Bealton Arts and Culture Committee, we were able to hire a small team of people had, led by um, Stacy Thompson right here in the valley, and we collected used hubcaps, hubcaps that would normally just end up in a landfill once they fall off a car, I guess, and end up on the side of the road. So um, then our project was to have community members sign up 
and turn them into beautiful nature themed artworks and boy did they we had something like over 60 entries for this a lot of them are still um, able to be seen through the end of the month at our local valley botanic garden it makes for a really fun visit to that lovely place so um let's see the video so you can appreciate everybody's creativity
Well, that was amazing. That's some incredible creativity. Uh, so cool to see so many families involved with that as well. And speaking of getting involved, we would thank you for getting involved. Thank you for watching. And to thank one of you for watching, we're going to give away our second door prize right now. Karen's going to come on back in. We've got our Montecito Bank and Trust basket. This is basically a picnic in a basket. It's got all kinds of wine and glasses and chocolate. It's got gift cards uh, to uh, Paninos. It's a really cool basket and I hope you win it. We have picked from all the people that are watching. We've got all your names and we drew it and our winner is Sherry Noel. Yay. Sherry, you have won our Montecito Bank and Trust picnic basket. Thank you so much for watching. Type in the chat window if you could right now, Sherry. I'm a winner. Let us know that you are there and watching. We have one more, one more to give away, and that is our brand new iPad that is coming up at the end and you have to be watching to win. All right, so right now, everybody, we have reached the most important moment of our entire event. In just a moment, we will invite you to give. In fact, we'll do it right now. We invite you to give a 100% tax deductible gift and directly support the museum. In this, our biggest fundraiser of the year, of which we've got about you know eight minutes left, this is the moment that we need your help the most. We'll ask you to give at any level of generosity that inspires you. Whatever you feel you can dig deep for, $2,500, $1,000, $500, $100, $100, any amount will help and support. We want to collectively come together. All these wonderful people I'm seeing in the chat window now, if we can all come together collectively and give whatever we can, we're going to have an amazing night for this museum. Uh, let's see. Let's just do this. Before we get to this, though, I know we had a little bit of a special announcement earlier, but we have someone who would like to share directly with you some really great news. Please watch and listen to this. Hello, my name is Kate Godfrey, and I've just made a $15,000 challenge gift to the Wildling Museum. And what I'm hoping is that all of you out there will seriously consider matching that challenge so that we can continue the education and the cultural uh, resources of the Wildling in our community. Thank you. I don't know what else to say, but wow, that is an amazing, amazing gift, amazing challenge, so to speak, more so. Uh, big applause for Kate, everybody virtually at home. Thank you, Kate, for this amazing opportunity. So basically what this means, everybody, is if, if you are willing to give $100, she will match you. If you're willing to give $1,000, she will match you. Or actually, if you're willing to give $15,000, she will match you. Only one time, but whatever. So. You can start giving right now that green button on the right hand side that says pledge and if that number that you see next to pledge doesn't work for you you can hit the black button that says pledge other so we have a question for you we want you to answer as loudly as you can and scream and yell it again make the neighbors wonder what the heck is going on the question is this is it okay with you if we come together right now as a community during this the museum's largest fundraiser give collectively and create an amazing amount of generosity for the wild museum what do you say yes <laughs> you're screaming and yelling at home. We love you so on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see some green buttons. I know I just said this, but I'm going to say it again. You can hit that green button right now and start giving. We're going to see your name come up. We're all going to clap and go crazy for you. The people in the chat window are going to go crazy because you are giving. It doesn't matter what level you give at. It just matters that you hit that green button and you give. If you would like to hit the black pledge other button and give any amount you would like to. Maybe you want to give $777. Maybe you want to give $1,800 in honor of someone. Put it in the chat window. Let us know who you are giving in honor of. We would love to see that as well so now is the time to give everybody we'll just start off with an example of $2,500 you can see a little bit on the screen there of just what $2,500 can do as a suggestion the wildling organizes quality exhibitions throughout the year and they don't come out of thin air as you might imagine uh, even the small shows cost several thousand dollars so how does that all work where do the expenses come from it comes from wonderful generous people like you in this particular case we're talking about the shipping of art to and from the museum the paint for the walls and the hiring of the painter the creating and printing of all the explanatory panels and labels and the banners to help the marketing the show and the creating and the printing of the family activity guys there is so much that goes into each exhibition a twenty five hundred dollar gift is a huge 
head start for an exhibition for the wildling. If you'd be kind enough to give a gift of $2,500, hit that green pledge $2,500 button right now, and the whole connection, uh, excuse me, the whole chat window will go absolutely crazy for you. Let's talk about, oh, by the way, and your $2,500 will be matched by board member Kate. So that's a good, fantastic thing. It's really a $5,000 gift. So let's go to $1,000. Maybe $2,500 is a little bit too rich. How about $1,000? $1,000 represents three Frappuccinos at Starbucks, something like that. But let's talk about the staff here at the museum. Do you want the staff here at the museum, this small but mighty staff, to be up to date on professional standards for museums and nonprofits? Do you want them to excel in the area of fundraising so they can offer excellent programs to our community? Well, professional, yikes, professional development subscriptions are crucial for that to happen, and they cost a lot of money. A thousand dollars, just for example, would pay for four memberships to groups like the American Alliance of Museums, California nonprofits, the Association of Fundraising Professionals, the California Association of Museums. You can help out with all of that, and especially in today's world with everything changing so rapidly, we need these memberships more than ever. Have I convinced you to give a thousand dollars yet? We want you to hit that green button right now. That's just one example of how a thousand dollars can go a long way to supporting the wildlife. Let's give it up for uh, Keith, everybody. Keith has given a wonderful gift. Richard is in at a thousand dollars. I know I'm missing people because I'm just talking too much, but there's so many people. Please thank them in the chat window for all they're doing. Your thousand dollar gift will also be doubled by our wonderful board member for this matching challenge. Kate, thank you for doing this. Let's go to $500 of generosity. $500. $500 will cover the printing of the gallery guide to the museum that each visitor receives, each and every visitor. That gives them a background on the shows as well as a calendar of upcoming events and programs so they keep coming back and supporting the museum. So if you give a $500 gift right now, you will be responsible ultimately for making sure every single person that comes in the museum gets that gallery guide and learns to love the museum like you do. That's what's so important. And I would love to read that. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, we're doing great. We're getting closer. They're letting me know that we're getting closer to hitting the matching challenge. We need your help though. At the $500 level, give $500 right now. I think I'm gonna hit refresh again so I can keep watching this. John is given a mass, a wonderful gift of $2,500. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John. If you'd like to give a $500 gift, you can do so right now. Again, you can hit the pledge other button. That's the black button. You can give any amount you want by hitting pledge other. Let's go to $250. If that number makes sense to you, please hit that button right now. $250 can help new track lighting, fixtures and bulbs. I know you can't see what I'm seeing right now, but I am seeing a lot of new track lighting fixtures. I mean, I'm not seeing nothing new, but there's a, a bunch of lighting in here, an amazing amount of lighting. Think about coming to the museum and how you experience the museum. So much of that is the lighting. $250 can help us with new track lighting fixtures fixtures and bulbs. I see it all around, all over this wonderful, wonderful museum. So your gift really makes a difference here at the Wild. Finally, let's go to $100, everybody. $100 of generosity. It's about two minutes in Whole Foods. But otherwise, $100 Art supplies, art supplies like colored pencils and origami paper for when we can and will start having hands-on art art activities in our gallery. Again, I got caught up thinking about actually doing that. We will happen. We will get together again, and $100 can help us with the art supplies necessary for our hands-on art activities in the gallery. And your $100 will be matched dollar for dollar by our wonderful board member challenge. Thanks to Kate one more time. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to thank uh, Thelka. I want to thank Richard. I want to thank Stacy. I'm looking to see all the names I can. They're scrolling off the screen so fast. Uh, Marianne, thank you so much. Keep giving everybody any amount is wonderful and good. You can give any amount you choose. Hit that black button that says pledge other. And we thank you so much. I know we're ridiculously close to hitting the $15,000. We're, we're at 14. We're 14 Check this out. We're not making this up. This is real. We're at $14,200 for the matching challenge. That's how much we raised for this exact piece of the program. $14,200. I might be a little behind because of latency. I know we're getting close to the $15,000 matching challenge. So that's a $30,000 goal. We're about $29,000, $28,000 generosity. So if you have not given yet, you can play a huge role right now by hitting those buttons. The $100 button is massive. We really do want to see five, six, ten. 
10 people give at the $100 level. And we're seeing them come in. Stacy, thank you so much. Lori just gave $100 right now. Lita just gave $100 right now. Thank you for all of what you're doing. We're getting so close. If a couple more people hit $100. 500 away. $500 away from hitting the $15,000 matching challenge. We have just a very small staff here at the museum today for this uh, for the for the virtual gala, but they're very very appreciative. I can hear it in their voices. They're so thankful for what you're doing. Just a couple hundred dollars left. I'm gonna keep going now because I know we're gonna get there. Um, let's 500 just... from Kevin, our president. 500 from Kevin. We did it. We did it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. If you haven't had a chance, keep giving. Trust me, every dollar will still count. For now, my voice is going. So let's hear from a few more Wildling supporters. Hello, I'm Wayne Norman. And I'm Ruth Norman. We live in Long Beach. And we are proud Wilderness Circle members of the Wildling Museum. We began visiting the Wildling when it was on San Marcos Avenue in Los Olivos. And in the past decade, we have frequented the Wildling more than any other museum. We've always been delighted by the quality of the Wildling events and exhibits. And we look forward to our next visit. Since the year 2009, I've been an active volunteer and a member of the Walding Museum of Art and Nature. And why I love participating with the Walding is it combines two of my greatest passions. One is art and one is nature. So I'm so excited to let you just see this beautiful piece that's in the current exhibit called Starry Nights. It's by Nathan Hoff. And not only does it feature the beautiful starry sky with stars, but also a living, breathing oak tree. And so that's what art is to me. It's not just two-dimensional or three-dimensional. It draws us into other dimensions within ourselves. So once again, congratulations, Welding, on 20 years. And thank you so much for all of you who participate at any level. Museum of Art and Nature. For 20 years, I have welcomed Sunday visitors to our museum with such a greeting. And through those years, it has been a joy to introduce them to diverse, beautiful, and enlightening art exhibits of landscape and wildlife works. As a volunteer, I am energized and gratified hearing happy, engaged, even passionate voices coming from the galleries by adults and children alike. In this year of the pandemic, as the Wally Museum celebrates its 20th anniversary of amazing art, I hope we will meet again soon. wonderful people that you just saw Wayne and Ruth all the way down in Long Beach and we're one of their favorite museums and they come up here all the time to see us and we're grateful to you guys and Kay and Bonnie some of our most amazing volunteers um, who come here weekly to help us out you know when we're open and uh, we just love you Kay and Bonnie and thank you for all your kind words the next video you were about to see you were gonna want to see this is where you just sit back relax it's not a long one but it's gorgeous and it's George Rose's photos, so enough said on that point. He always does such an incredible job. But it's set to the music of a very special person that we lost earlier this year in April, and that's Charlie Stauffer. Charlie was on our board. He actually had just gotten off our board in January, and unfortunately, he unexpectedly passed in April and leaving a big hole in our community and in our own hearts. So um, I want to thank Jeff McLaughlin for putting all this together, and uh, please um, enjoy it.
beautiful. I kind of want to watch that a few more times, quite frankly. But we do have an iPad to give away, and that is coming up very soon. So stay with us. You've got to be here at the end to, to win our iPad, and it's coming up in just a couple of minutes. But for right now, we are going to learn a little bit more about this special anniversary exhibition that I'm standing in right now. Personal favorites that I was able to curate. 
All three artists were incredibly passionate and creative in how they approached their views of nature and wilderness. Three years later, thanks to Suzanne's sponsorship of this piece, visitors are still able to enjoy it and be amazed by it. It's one of those pieces that the more closely you look at it, the more you're going to see. She creates whole environments around an animal, and um, it really makes you think uh, when you look at it. So thank you to Suzanne especially for the sponsorship and those wonderful artists for participating in Nature Imagined. this gallery walk next to Ray Strong. Ray Strong completely exemplifies the museum mission of using art to inspire a love of nature and a desire to protect it. That was really his whole life. And we are so grateful that in 2019 we were able to do a wonderful show of his artwork thanks to art collector and lender David Parker. Thank you, David. Um, we also did a big show about Ray Strong with Ray when he was still alive back in 2002 called Along the Way. This particular piece maybe isn't the thing that comes to mind when you first think of Ray Strong paintings. A lot of times you think of the rolling hills with the oak trees, and there certainly were a lot of those as well. But that's one of the reasons I love it. I think David picked out a really special piece for us to show here today. Um, it's really impossible to overstate the influence that Ray Strong had on the arts community in our area. He came to live here with his wife in 1960 because he took a commission with the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History to do the diorama murals, which are still there today to enjoy. And in the process of moving here and living here, he really became a strong part of the um, arts community. He befriended artists, he mentored artists, and um, he was just beloved within a few years of being here. By the 1980s, he teamed up with Arturo Teo, and they decided to found the Oak Group. And the Oak Group is a group of many different artists at this point, and they're all really dedicated to the same kind of mission that Ray was, to use their artwork to build awareness of all the wonderful, beautiful landscape that's around here in the county, and often to do benefit shows then to help raise money in preservation efforts. So thank you, Oak Group. I hope you enjoy this exhibition walkthrough. I hope you investigate more online. You will find it there, and I hope you're able to visit us soon and see it in person. But most of all, I want to say thank you to all the incredible artists that we show here, all the lenders who help us out with their collections, and all of our sponsors who help make it all fiscally possible. So thank you so much, and uh, hey, here's to the next 20 years of exhibitions. We can't wait. cool stuff I gotta say. So we are almost at the end and that means it's time to give away our iPad. But first we want to make sure you know about the pledge card up in the top right corner. If you've won every, anything, if you've pledged anything tonight, uh, go ahead and at the end you want to hit that pledge card up in the top right and that's a very easy checkout procedure. If you have any questions however you can always call the museum. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to give the iPad away. This is a brand new 128 gig, seventh generation iPad. It slices, it dices, it does your dishes. It's amazing. We have picked our winner from everybody that is watching right now. So if you win, we announce your name right now. You got to type in there, I am a winner. Let us know you're there. And our winner is... John Matthews. Woo! John, congratulations. I'll take that. What do you think? I'm blown away. I am so grateful to everybody for their generosity. It's just incredible. Um, we did have some funds that came in advance of the event, so it looks like we, um, gosh, we cracked about 40,000, or close to 40,000 with that if you were to add it in. And then we actually haven't even accounted for Kate's $15,000 match, so I'm pretty sure that takes us over 50 grand. More than we budgeted, incredibly grateful thank you we're going to have a, a great winter and we're going to be bringing you a lot of great um, content because of your generosity so thank you so much <laughs> but this event wouldn't have happened without a few key people of course our amazing and wonderful auctioneer and mc and uh, the man behind the camera the man who did a lot
lot of the filming, the man who did all the editing so that all of this could happen, the man who sat at the computer and triggered every video just perfectly when it needed to be tri tr uh, blah, triggered. <laughs> and that man is Jeff McLaughlin. Yeah. <laughs> for this um, process and we're just so thrilled and grateful we couldn't have done it without you very literally Jeff so thank you and if you don't know him you should because he's also the master of the Carissa Plain movie the Ray Strong movie a video about uh, Patty at Creek Spirit so he's quite the filmmaker in his very much own right so thank you so much Jeff and then Lauren Sharp is uh, my right hand man, woman, person, um, my number one in Star Trek lingo, and I'm just really grateful to you for hanging in there, because of course it's hard putting on an event, and who of all of us has ever put on a virtual event before? Like, none of us. So, it was a little daunting, but we did it with great success. Yeah, right. And um, Karen Hansen and Julie, who you've seen a little bit tonight as well, and we've been chatting with you, super grateful to you guys. So, just thank you to absolutely everybody, and have a fantastic night because we're about to pop some champagne. Yay! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>